Hello, in this video you're going to learn three new functions which is sum if, average if, and count if. So you have three new questions and these are your three criteria. So this video is a continuation from the if video. These were your three criteria: distinction, merit, and pass. Now the first question is get the sum of marks of each criteria. So you want to know what is the sum of the marks for distinction, what is the sum of the marks for merit and pass. Now the easiest way to do this is using sum if. Sum if has three things inside it. The first one is the column in which your criteria belongs. Now we will use the new one because this has got all three of them. So select the entire column in which your criteria belongs. Now this is far away from your calculation table so you have to fix it. Then comma. The second one is to click on the criteria. So now click on the criteria inside your table, not anywhere far away. Now do not fix it because it's right next to you. Comma. The third thing is select the column in which you want to get the sum of. So you want to get the sum of the marks. So select the column in which you want to get the sum of and fix it. and close the bracket. So let's look at the formula. The first one is the column in which your criteria belongs. Fix it. The second is only click on the criteria. And the third is select the column in which your criteria belongs. And, and sorry, the third one is the column in which your marks belong. And press enter. So you see the sum of marks for distinction is 481. We can check it here. This plus this because it's a distinction plus this plus this. Now this number should be 481. Then our calculation is correct. Press enter 481. So you see instead of doing it individually, you can directly do it with the formula. If you have a long list of values, this is the best way to do it. And then all you have to do is just drag it down or double click. So 365 is the sum for merit. Now make sure you double click and check the things that needs to be fixed are fixed. You see these two things are fixed, but this is moving. That's exactly what we want. Okay, now average if. Second question is find the average of the marks that each criteria got. Now average if is the same as sum if three things. First the column in which your criteria belongs fix. Let's move a little bit. Comma. The second is click on the criteria, do not fix it and the third is select the column in which the marks or the average you want to find and close the bracket. Okay, to fix it first now if you close the bracket you have to make sure you select it. Okay, this is a mistake. So make sure you select this and press F4. The dollar symbol needs to be on both the alphabets, not just one of them. If that happens, it's a mistake. And drag it down. Even though the number is same, it wouldn't have worked if we dragged it down. And drag it down. 
This is the average of the marks made for each criteria. Okay, the third one is count if. So the question is, count in your class how many distinctions are there, how many merits are there, and how many parts. To do that, you have to use count if. This is also called counting with criteria. So count if. Count if has two things, not three things. The first is select the column in which your criteria belongs. Now, do you have to fix it? Yes or no? Now, even though I cannot hear you, you should try and contribute. The answer is yes, because it's far away. Comma, the second is click on criteria and click on the criteria. Close the bracket. Now you can check how many distinctions do you have? One, two, three, four. So if I press enter, the answer should be four here. Four, just like that. And drag it down. So four distinctions in your class, four merits and two passes. You can just double click and check. This is not moving, this needs to move. Okay, very important three functions, sum if, average if, and count if. Any questions you can type in below. Now I would suggest make notes and do the practice.